Yes, sir. Alrighty. So, previous on the camp crawlers, you guys had finished up your quest here in the city, and you actually began a day of shopping and doing extra stuff and having fun. Depends on who you are. And <laughs> um, things have wrapped up. It is you um, shopping. Uh, Toph did. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Um, we are now right outside the gates to the castle with Soggy and Squeak after dealing with the cars, after, um, Squeak almost leveled the wall again. <laughs> yeah. And Kriv is currently busy, getting busy. <laughs> Alright, so with that, yeah, Squeak, roleplay. Wait, we just finished with the guards, right? Right. The guards are still there. There's a lot of them there, and they're eyeing you kind of I, I start, warily. I start doing, like, the little, like, can thing. And we're like, come on. Let's, uh, let's, 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 let's get away from here. Got Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> give a thumbs up and walk away. <laughs> Wait, you're walking away from me, or are you walking with me? I'm walking away from everyone. If you're with me, then you're with me, though. <laughs> well, I already started walking. I like Wait. Anything. I'm going back to the inn. Wait, are, please tell me, Squeak, that you're slow walking. <laughs> Do I have to slow walk? No, but if you were, then I then I can make a really good reference. <laughs> I waddled away, waddle, waddle. waddle. Oh. I waddled away, waddle, waddle. waddle. <laughs> Oh god, no. That is a threat <laughs> to the guards. <laughs> no, 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 no. I missed no apologies for my internet nerdiness. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna walk away, going directly to the state. Wait, no, actually. How much money do I have? Ah. Uh... Wait, no, it was 3k or something like that. Forget it. No, I'm just going to go to the stable and I can continue working with the poison because today is the first herbalism kit day. Mm -hmm. Wait, can I work with um like healing ointments? During your healing mode, sure. Yeah, can I? Is there like any minor ones? Um, do you have the ingredients, or do you need to go purchase them? I probably need to go purchase them first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, then shopping it is. Can I go to the Dragonborn place? <laughs> <laughs> sure. You're going to split off from Squeak, then? It seems like he's going to go shopping, so... I just okay, like I'd like... I'd like Soggy and Phantom to roll initiative to see who gets to go first. Oh, I'm okay. not doing much anyways. <laughs> 19. <Yeah>. Nice. <laughs> we used to go and shopping. Uh, yeah. Uh, would it be a herbs place or would it be just, just be a potions shop? Uh... Probably looking for a herbalist. Yeah. Um, shoot. This is not going to be fun. It's investigation, right? Mm, perception. Perception? Okay. That's, that's, that's better. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> it's 13. Okay. Um, it takes you about a half hour before you find the potion shop. Uh, I believe we already have a name for it. Let me check the thing. D and D C C. Hello notes. Mm. 
It takes you about a half hour before you find the potion shop called the Bloodstone. Well, that's a good name for it. Um, who do I see at the front of the shop? Is the shop empty? Uh, is there people in there already? Are you gonna like announce yourself as you go in, or no? No, I just want to scout out, just like make see what's scout. going on in it. I know you're not intentionally stealthing, but go ahead and make a stealth check, please. Okay. <laughs> what a twenty-four <laughs> work. <laughs> even, even just when you're not trying to stealth, you've entered this phase in your life where you just unintentionally enter it. And so, as you enter the store, you manage to open this door in just a way that it does not creak. And so, you have managed to enter the store without being detected. So, you're telling me no one knows I'm in this store right now? What? What did you just say? So, you're telling me no one knows I'm in this store right now? It looks like there's nobody here. The the shop keep must be in the back listening for the bell for the door that you managed to <laughs> then go off. Yardrit. <laughs> so so basically, I could probably steal right now. It is basically around evening, so there are lots of people outside. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can I first check the shelves before actually like getting the the shop keeps attention? What are you looking for? Um, I don't know how much how much knowledge I have. I probably have to do a history check, but I'm just looking for any type of plan that will help me do a healing ointment to produce one or to buy one. Produce one. Okay, so you're looking for herbs. Yes. Make an investigation check. And that I am horrible at, and I do not see that. Uh, that's 11. <laughs> okay. Um, you end up going... So this shop, is, it's decently sized. There's about five short aisles. So it's like a medium-sized shop. Okay. The fourth aisle from the door, you go in and about halfway, there is a large selection of what looks like plants. Aloe vera, midnight, that kind of stuff. You make a history check? Yeah. Uh, please don't fail me. 14? You are not 100% sure, but you are able to give a decent yes on which herbs you need to produce poisons and which herbs you need to produce healing potions. I am going to take, I don't know what quantity there is of each. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna see if I can tell like, like from two to four. Four of each of the ones that do healing or would work you to mean produce healing. To produce two to four potions? Yes, that's better, yeah. That is a considerable amount. Oh, so it's actually a lot. Okay, um. Holy, okay. Uh. We got Criff, we got. Okay, look, I'm, just, I'm gonna take for three. Three potions, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take enough for three potions. To produce heal, three healing potions and three poison ones. No, no, just healing. Just healing. Make a second stealth check with disadvantage, please. Wait, I'm not gonna steal them. Oh, I thought you were trying to steal. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm just gonna grab them, put them, and then go to the counter and start tapping to get the shopkeeper's attention. <laughs> okay. So you grab enough for three potions, and you start tapping on the counter. <laughs> and uh, after a moment of doing this, a shopkeep sticks their head out of the out of uh. So, in anime, I'm sure you've seen the doors that have like the cover that goes up halfway. 
Yeah. Like from hanging down. Yeah, it's one of yeah. those. They stick their head through and they're just like, there's a. I didn't hear. So I'm so sorry. I didn't hear the bell. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. And how can I help you today? <laughs> I was gonna pull out my urinal so I can actually speak. Um, how much would it be for all of these? Uh, enough herbs to make that looks like three potions. Um, that will be da -da 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 -da. so. This is Billy speaking. Are you trying to make common, uncommon, rare, or legendary potions? Oof. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, so I will say it is possible for you to make all four, but if you're gonna try to make anything better than uncommon, it's gonna start running in constant DCs. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one common and two uncommon. Okay. Um. So. The shopkeep pulls out a small parchment, starts writing on it. One common, two uncommon ingredient amounts. And go ahead and roll a persuasion to see how, how well you can barter. I also do not see that, but that's a horrible one. Eleven. Okay. Um that's that's not great, but not bad. Um so you're looking to buy a half pound of common herbs. That's going to run you at about 26 gold pieces. Hmm. And you want to buy a pound of uncommon herbs. That's going to run you about... Because you're buying two, I'll give you a small discount, and I'll give you, so, 180 gold pieces. Wait, 180 total, or is that just with the discount? For, for total, for so, for just two of them. Oh. Ah, yeah, fuck it, I'll take it. It's still a really good deal, because for context, common potions are supposed to give, just straight up buy them. They're 50 gold pieces. And just straight out by uncommon potions, it's two hundred fifty per potion. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. That's that's way better. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jesus. It's basically cutting the prices in half, but you're but you're spending your time to make them instead. Yeah. I'll yeah. I'll I'll take it. Yep. Let me remove that. Um. Okay. I. Don't know how much knowledge I have, so I'm gonna see if, uh, how much knowledge the shopkeep has. Um, I wanna ask the shopkeep what would be, if there is any plans, what would be. Wait, not plans. I think it would be. No, no, it wouldn't go with herbalism. I'm just gonna ask what would be the best plans for creating poisons. Poisons? Yes. Um, she looks up you up and down and she's just like, Can I see your permission from the Yarl, please? <laughs> I, I can't get the Yarl right now. I'm sorry, but due to recent events in the city, knowledge and ingredients on poisons are restricted. Hmm. I also unfortunately have to let you know that you're just by inquiring about it without permission, I will have to notify the authorities. What is your name? Secret. Oh my god, the kind of luck. Um Um I'm gonna I'm gonna write down all of this. I'm gonna write uh Squeak, I have been working for the y'all at the moment. Uh about the whole poison cases and apart from that would i was there any potions 
to cure po poisons that were consumed by drinking. Um. Um, I'm okay. I'm having trouble finding, so I'm just gonna call them herbs. Yeah, we got plenty of herbs that can help cure poisons. May I know the name of these and where they would be commonly found? Um, okay, this is Billy speaking. I got Jack and Karate for names. <laughs> I, I'd have to actually do research in herbology. <laughs> can, can hypothetically we just say that this character does just give that to Squeak? Yep. And then at a later date, you guys can figure that out. Yeah, don't mind me. I'll just take a herbology class between now and the next. <laughs> I said at a later date, so don't worry. That can be like at session one hundred. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we can just whenever, whenever I go, like I want to go in the look for uh, herbs. We can just do an investigation history check, and then base it off on that, and say, yeah, you found it totally, even though we don't know the name. I'll, I'll come up with a system. I'm just not able to right now. Yeah, no, <laughs> Congratulations, you found a gap in my abilities. <laughs> All good, all good. Let's just say that the shopkeep does know the names and sets them. We just don't actually know them. That's what I was saying, but yeah. Yeah, no, let's just go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just give a thumbs up and write, thank you for your help. Have a great day and leave. <laughs> Sir, sir, I need to report you to the authorities. You wanted the name. She didn't say she was going to do it right now. Huh? And I already gave her the name. Okay. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, um, ha, you know what? Gap closed. She gives you, um, the not- She- blah, 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 blah. <laughs> After asking about how to, um, cure poise- Pose- blah, 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 I can't talk all of a sudden. It's okay, we understand you. <laughs> how to cure that word. <laughs> <laughs> she offers to sell you the uh, recipe to create Venom Cleanse Tea. Oh, a tea? Mm -hmm. I, I need to look this up. It's it's a custom. I found a custom system. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Gap closed. It even, cover, it even covers gathering crud, too. <laughs> Oh shit. Um I mean how much would it be for the book? Well for the recipe. Uh persuasion check. Persuasion, persuasion, here we go. Eighteen. Nice. Um then I'm cleanse to you. Um average book did good. Um, she'll give it to you for 22 gold pieces. Holy fuck. Um. So, okay, that's a good thing to have either way. Um, and before I buy it, I'm gonna ask, does this cure all the types of poisons, or only some of them? <laughs> it cures most Po um, um, poisons, but not directly. So the way the mechanics is going to work is there are three qualities of venom cleanse tea. Um, common, uncommon, and legendary. You can common's the most easy one to do. 
if you give someone uh the tea it it's referred to as a tea but it's more of a sob so you can put it on a wound oh. regular venom cleanse tea will allow the um person being cured to roll um their saving throw again immediately because normally you only get the one shot um it, you'll with normal one you'll get to roll immediately with disadvantage if you manage to make or acquire a uncommon one it gives you a straight regular roll and the legendary one will actually give the patient advantage on the saving throw i will drop the 22 gold and take the recipe Okay. I'm um, sorry. So the proper names for it are minor, moderate, and master work T. Okay. I believe I should put that in my notes instead of inventory. Yeah. Note uh -huh. that you have the ability to make Venom Clans T. Okay, I'll add that with my vial making. The shopkeep does warn you that Venom Cleanse Tea ingredients are hard to keep. To keep? And can be... Yes. Like, the most shops will sell out of them instantly. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. It's just... It's not possible to farm these ingredients. You have to... You have to gather them. Which actually does happen in the real world, too. There are several ingredients that are considered quite valuable, because we still don't know how to farm them. Do you have, like, a... In the same page that you found it, do you have, like, the actual recipe? Yep. Can I have that? Nope. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I am forced to buy them. Uh, you mean like the 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 ingredients? Yes. Like, um, no, but the uh, so the ingredients can be found in forest and grasslands using the you and you can do so either a dedicated gathering trip, which take which you have to stay within one mile radius of the starting point, and it takes one hour. Or okay. you can spend the day gathering it while traveling. Okay. So either way. You um, search for Venom Cleanse tea ingredients while you're in a forest or grasslands. Okay. I have added that in here. <laughs> if Squeak after ever dies, his reward. Uh huh. If you, after you buy that, she asks, Do you wish to buy any other recipes? No, that's all for now. Thank you. Okay. Alright, so I remember it's Squeak. <laughs> what was that? And remember, it's Squeak. <laughs> if what you say is true, Squeak, if you come, I should be able to find out by the by the evening. So either if you come back by tomorrow morning. If you are who you say you are, you'll have permission. That will be great. Thank you. Now have a nice day. I'm going to start walking away. Recounting all the herbs. <laughs> and he waddled away. He waddled away. <laughs> okay. uh, Alright. Qualia. I have a question. I might have an answer. Did I ever possibly, like, grab the black poison off of the unconscious uh, household head girl? Um, I believe Hoff grabbed it. Oh, okay, good. Or, sorry, not Hoff. Squeak grabbed it. Okay, good. The what again? The black The mystery uh, poison, poison. Yeah, there was black poison. That hasn't been analyzed yet. Did I grab it? Wasn't it Hoth? I'll look in his character sheet. Yeah, I have to do a... Re I don't remember who did. 
I'm pretty sure one of you did. I I, I thought it was Squeak. I I don't think it was me. I was knowing I wanted to, but I don't know if I said it out loud. Like, oh, Hoffer, Driaz forgot to remove the prisoner's bracelet. Oh yeah, it reminded me I also have to check if I removed it or not. I did try to remind everyone, but no. Shit! We still have pelt. I forgot uh, we had pelt. Hoff did Hoff is the one who grabbed it. Oh. How fast okay. Good, 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 good. Yeah, he he put it in his backpack. I'm gonna have to ask for that when I'm back to having the poisonous kit. <laughs> that would be very. You'll have to wait till next session, and you'll have to ask Driaz. Yeah. Yeah. And Sorry. Ways back to what I was gonna do. Uh, I'm heading over to the Dragonborn's house. Indeed. I am just gonna casually open the door, close it behind me, and sit in sit on the couch in a corner, and just. Wait. <laughs> I'm just waiting in the living Stealth room. Stealth roll. In a corner. All right. Fails a big time, and the moment that she opens the door, she face plants. Oh, un unnatural. Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> Crib perception check with disadvantage. <laughs> Crib, you're also muted, by the way. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, cool. Talking. Family's probably being loud again. <laughs> well, yeah. Can I think of You behind? managed to enter, and Kriv and Beery do not hear you. Wait, are they to in the it. living room? No. Okay. You, you they have a little bit of the corner. You know, I'm, I'm just wait, I'm waiting until they go out and into the living room, and not, like, in the room doing fun. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna wait until they... Kriv, what oh time do you exit the bedroom? <laughs> Midnight. Never. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me rephrase. So, Qualia, you enter there, and I'm gonna say, we'll do time, I'll allow the time thing for now. It is 4pm. It is now 5pm. <laughs> it is now 6pm. It is now 7 p.m. They're probably asleep right now. <laughs> it is 9 p.m. I want to sleep in the Grab corner now. You can stop me whenever you want. I'm oh, good. this is a stop thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't know it was a stop thing? Okay, we'll reset. It is, so, Qualia enters at 4 p.m. Do either you... So, I assume Qualia is still waiting and Kriv is still in the yeah. bedroom? Okay, 5 p.m. Do either of you do anything? No. Mm -mm. 6 p.m. Not me. 7 p.m. Not me. Okay, okay, 7, 7. <laughs> oh, wait, you're done? Wait, I waited for you to Okay. Leave. Oh, you're done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're no, done, is old your ass. When you see Crib exit the bedroom, looks like they might be heading for the kitchen. I want, I want to casually get behind Crib. I just whisper. Hello there. When is the wedding? Okay, ah! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hold on, hold on. I want Qualia to make a stealth check with advantage and Crib a perception check with disadvantage. Oh, 16. What about Beery? Um. So you do your little whisper thing on Kriv, and Kriv does that yelp. And <laughs> right as you're about to start laughing, you hear in your left ear, oh, no, I'm Qualia. Not laughing. I'm not going to laugh. You're not going to laugh? Okay. No. Right you will now. That, right as you finish saying that and step back to normal since you had to lean up in order to whisper in their ear, you hear a voice whispering in your left ear. Yes! <laughs> I, I let out this little like, yes! Yes! 
And, turn and then and you are immediately, there. you are immediately bear hugged by Beery. I, I I turn around and like hug really hard, like yes. Nope. Before you even can turn around, you get bear hugged. Okay, then I'm <laughs> hugging backwards. Yeah. I'm like yes. I broke her arms just to hug I can't back. Wait. <laughs> Kalia, make a um a constitution life. check, please. Oh, really? You're being Dice from a by a dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, I would like you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Oh wait, I just did that. Oh, it was supposed to be a check. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, so I got the same roll. <laughs> Basically the same thing. Yeah. Now roll a save. Okay, so this time I have a nine. <laughs> Chris. Mm -hmm. You turn around after getting startled by Qualia, and you turn around to see Qualia now getting bear hugged by Beery, and it looks like after about 30 seconds, Qualia is having trouble breathing. Before I have trouble breathing, I say, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Beery takes that as a challenge. You can see Beery's arms are starting to tighten a little tighter, Kriv. I want to just do drop my head. Um, Beery, um, it all it all it all it look like I like Beery, I think you're squeezing a little bit too hard there. That was the idea. Oh. Beery lets go enough that they're now carrying Qualia, and then they go put them on the couch again. Wait, as soon as as soon as they lose <laughs> enough, I want to escape because <laughs> I'm not unconscious. Repeat that, please. You're going Roboto on oh, me. As soon as as soon as they loosen up their grip on me, I want to just casually get out. Just I want to I want to sneak on out of there. I want to fucking. You want to break the grapple? Yes. As soon okay. as they loosen up. Strength? Can I do strength? You may roll strength or dexterity. Your choice. Strength. Strength. And let me go to encounter mode so I can roll oh, no. for Beery. Please fuck me right now. It's a dragonborn. Strength, but Beery gets a plus three to their strength checks. What did you roll? A twelve. Beery got sixteen. Fuck! <laughs> you you go to try to escape, shouting, "I'm not unconscious." Oh no! And I'm not before you can I, just go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I make inhuman sounds. Very <laughs> immediate response. Of, Ooh, it's still alive. Chuckles a little bit and then resumes the bear hug. I punch him. <laughs> I punch him in while the face. Well, crap a little. I punch him in the face. You're currently grappled, you aren't able to move, and you are facing the wrong direction. <laughs> I did a headbutt, I just smash my head backwards and into their face. Unarmed strike. Unarmed strike? By bread and butter, you say? 25. <laughs> Give me a moment. Please. Uh, God, which house does... Who they belong to again? I forget. Apple? Uh, the the dragonborn belonged to House of Apple. Apple. Hall? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to look up Beery's stats real quick. I don't remember the stats for that. Um. AC, AC, this is clever. Oh, what'd you roll? 25. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Oh my god. <laughs> and then say, oh, I am very much alive before just scampering out of the house. Just... Non lethal, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm panicking a little bit, Qualia. You put a lot of force into the um, headbutt. 
it goes backward. Crib, you're watching from your perspective. Your companion is playing with Qualia when Qualia puts her head forward a little bit and then slams it backward. And you watch as Beery's nose just immediately vanishes to the left in a, in a spew of blood. And after, Beery only blinks once and then immediately falls backwards and is uh, unconscious. Beery! 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 What the fuck? Beery is uh, down. I rush over to Beery. Oh god, um, oh god, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh no. Oh, no. I need to make rolls. That is not good. What the fuck? Unintentional murder. <laughs> that is all right. <laughs> it was non-lethal. You didn't. You didn't say that to me afterwards. No, I you did. did. Beery... Before I did damage, I said this is non-lethal. You but did. I... I yes. Don't... Did anybody else hear that? Squeak was saying yeah. it's non-lethal, right? And then I go, yes, of course. And then I do the damage. Yeah. Okay, I must have an internet connection issues. I'm not killing her. Okay, cool. I don't. Like, but if that if 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 that punch killed her, holy fuck! No help. What like, the hell? This was meant it would have just... because Beery has four HP. Why? <laughs> what the fuck? Beery is a civilian. This was just meant to fucking oh make god. her stop. And oh my god, them. only four HP. So for the record, because you did the non-lethal, it's not going to kill them. But for the record, if you had forgotten to say that, you would have killed Barry. <laughs> oh my, you would have killed Barry and a baby. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> Why the fuck are they four HP? <laughs> Crib, you need to train your soon-to-be <laughs> wife. <laughs> but yeah, Beery is down in a small-sized pool of blood that is growing. Oh my <laughs> god. Fuck! You're able to fucking strangle me and then you go down with one slight hit? What? Why? Their, their Why nose is in damaged? multiple locations. It is not looking good. Oh my god, can I, can I get someone? <laughs> what do I do? A squeak shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Does anybody, have a, does anybody have a potion of healing? No. I thought I gave both of you a potion I of do, healing. I do, I do, I do, I do. I've used mine, I think. Oh. <laughs> I have one, I have one, I have one. That is an option. Can I just, if you like... don't want to use the potion, you can try to roll medicine check to try and stabilize. I don't trust my medicine check. <laughs> I won't trust that. To be fair, if you're going to use the medicine, would would Crib be panicking at this point? Yes! <laughs> yes! So I would say that be, that Crib would have disadvantage on a medicine check then. Yeah. Oh my I'm God. just here, like. Okay, okay, I, I'm, give, I'm giving Beery the, the, the potion of healing. Roll for amount of healing. Oh, wait. How much is it? It should specify in the potion. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my God, bro. Total of six. That's four, actually. It's plus two. Oh, okay, so it's like plus two. Okay, six. Yeah, they're back to full HP. After a moment, you can see the magical aura of the potion take effect, and their nose kind of closes. And after a moment, Beery starts coughing pretty heavily. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, Beery. <laughs> Zeus fucking what Zeus. What happened? Uh, you kept on trying to strangle me, so I gave you a slight headbutt. And you kind of went down, and you weren't moving, so we gave Make you a deception a check. <laughs> it was only a slight in my book, like to my character. That was for nothing. you. It was slight for them. It was lethal. Yeah, I know, but like to me, <laughs> I am not lying. In my own eyes, I am not lying about that. Then make a persuasion check. Okay, good. 
That one I am okay with. 21. Is that true, Criff? Ugh. Um, yeah. Ugh. I didn't mean Remind to Remind me never to rough house with this one. Ugh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I did not mean to, to actually, like, knock you down. Just meant to stagger, like, make you stop. Oh, my nose. Ow. Yeah, you should probably get some rest. I'm sorry. Beery just gets up and goes back to the bedroom, closes the door, and you can hear the door lock. <laughs> Although we leveled up on these shoes. <laughs> I, 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 I just start leaving. Anyways, I can't wait to go to the wedding. <laughs> I don't think you're invited anymore. <laughs> Beery's locked her, herself in her room. No, I said that to Crib. I was like, anyways, can't wait to stay, go to your guys' wedding. Yeah, but you said you're you're starting to leave now, right? Yeah, I, 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 I say like that. I say, hey, yeah. anyways, I'm heading out. I can't wait to go to your guys' wedding as I'm leaving. I'm saying that to Kriv. Okay, Kriv, what are you gonna do? I'm going to Beery. <laughs> I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Beery. <laughs> Never I I don't think I don't think Cora is invited anymore. <laughs> it's not my fucking fault that she tried to strangle me to unconsciousness. If someone tried to strangle you, you would fight back. She's just a fucking this was oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, my you need to hold back. I did. Tell me sides. I did hold back. So not... are you knocking on the door, Kev, or are you going to try to lock it? You're not skilled at it, but you can try. I'm are just calling her name. Door? I'm just calling out her name, okay? I'm asking if she's alright. There's no response. <laughs> she, probably... she took a big hit from me. She's probably going to need a little bit. Oh. Well, big with air quotations <laughs> around it, but you know. Oh my god. What are you gonna do, Kriv? Oh. I'm just now imagining Kriv walking away like a sad little de dejected puppy. <laughs> <laughs> with the whimper and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Quali <laughs> just watches Crib start walking towards the couch, making tiny little warp winking sounds. It'll be okay, Crib. She just needs some time to rest. She's in pain. She doesn't need <laughs> Do you need some hugs? I can offer you some hugs. <laughs> Did you accept the hugs from the person that hurt your soon-to-be wife? I can't believe you. What? I defended yeah. myself. She was trying to strangle me. <laughs> you knocked her out in an instant. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that she was, well, not able to take one time. You, you, had, you have other options than just head-butting her. I honestly do didn't. Like, that was the only Words thing are I a could thing. do in that. <laughs> what did you say? Words are a thing. Words? No, to her, that was all play. Like, she wanted to fucking, like, put me out. She wanted to make me go unconscious. It wasn't the first time she did that to you, messing with you to make you go unconscious. I don't remember- My character doesn't <laughs> remember that. At all. But Beery does, so she thought that she was doing something normal. So yeah! How long are you guys gonna stay on the couch? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, casually going out, and I'm also just there like, 
Oh, okay. also, if you need a bouncer to keep uh, uninvited people who aren't me from the uh, wedding, uh, I, can, I can be the person to yeah. keep people out. You could technically Serves consider that. Penance as being the bouncer for the wedding they're no longer invited to. <laughs> hey, no one said I wasn't invited to it. Okay, so Qualia has left. Kriv is crying on the couch. <laughs> I offered my comfort and she's then and she didn't do anything. Hoff is doing a fire dance at the inn. Fun times for everybody. Yes, yes, fun times. Oh yeah, I wanna yes. say. Uh, I wanna say. Tonight or are we gonna do a long rest? Uh, oh, is Chris sleeping on the couch? <laughs> if I stay awake all night working on the potions, I'm guessing I take an exhaustion point. That's so You'd have to roll a, an intelligence check to see if you pass. Or sorry, constitution check to see if you can do that. Oh, okay, wait a second. If, if, if you can, you can do it, but if you fail the check, you do get a point of exhaustion. And what's the DC? Um, DC is amount of days you've gone since your last full rest, plus 10. Wait, so, what? Um, so it should, it will, it'll be 12 if you decide to do it. It starts at 12 and it goes up every day. Uh... I'll use it for this night. I'm gonna stay awake in the barn working on the on uh, the common potion because I feel like that's gonna be the easiest. Okay. So and fastest. The way I'm gonna rule it, the way I'm gonna rule it, if you can head into the potion thing and you're gonna go through an exhaustion check, is we're gonna do the exhaustion check first, and if you fail it, it's going to impede the quality the 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 um quality of the potion. Okay. <clears throat> so constitution check, right? Alright. And are you working on your common or uncommon healing potions? Uh common. Common? Well Yeah. Do you keep in mind and if you fail too many if if you fail too many quality checks while making a common potion, the ingredients are wasted. Okay. Yeah I'll Oh, wall constitution then. Uh, go for it. Haha, -ha, fifteen. You are able to. Go ahead and roll. Um, what would be a good stat for potion? Um, medicine. Yeah, yeah, that works. Let's go with medicine. I can't. Oh, that's a horrible one. That's a four. Jesus. It went from B to two. Okay, so I'm going to say, cause you, mind you, you do your completion rate based on the gold gold value of the potion itself. Common potions are worth 50 gold pieces. I'm going to say that you put four gold pieces towards its completion through that night. Okay. Sorry. Um. Yeah, no, don't, don't worry. Uh, yeah. oh my god, the longer the list goes, it's the worse. Oh shit, um, okay, wait. Okay, how much was it again? Um, so you're at 4 out of 50. Okay, I'll put it over here that it's total fifty. How much was the basic vial of poison again? I forgot. I should have written it uh, down. Uh one hundred. Okay, thank you. Let me put that in there. A hundred. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna spend my night um, working on that. Yep, you mean to put four gold pieces over to, for the whole night. 
You're something is something. Exhaustion, but it's but this is your first time at it. You're 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 reading the instructions so often and double checking yourself that you make very little progress. Okay. Okay. So um, that takes care of Squeak for the for the duration of this long rest. Um, you do not get to mark off a long rest, Squeak, and so keep that in mind for yeah. when I say the next long rest. Um, Qualia, now that you have left the Apple Hall Manor, what you doing? Uh, going back to the inn and doing a long rest. Okay. Kriv, about an hour later after going back onto the couch, you end up falling asleep. Um, it is only, I believe you, so it's about nine o'clock when you wake up from this little short nap, you wake up to find Geary sleeping on your shoulder. Aww. You, you <laughs> two are still both on the couch. <laughs> okay, um, give me a moment. <laughs> So can we just like can I just like carry her to the, the, the room? What was that? Can I carry her to the room? Strength check. Oh great. Oh, Better ruin this whole moment. Oh. <laughs> you, know? you have please, just woken up. Please, please, I so. let me just like let me just let me just pray right now. Let me just pray, please. <laughs> if you really wanted to make it interesting, you could use your all or nothing coin. <laughs> I am not dropping Viri on the floor. Not after what just happened. <laughs> to be fair, you used your all or nothing coin and you got a fail. I just ruled that you couldn't pick her up. Do it. Do really? It. How about I do this the easy way? <laughs> Let's do this the easy way. I'm going to just like gently shake her awake. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll use the all or nothing coin. <laughs> Give in to the E. <laughs> okay, okay. Roll a d4, even's good, odds bad. Drops her and takes four damage. <laughs> so guys, you must be wondering how we ended up here. <laughs> you spend about two minutes trying to pick her up, but you're not able to, and you end up jostling her enough that she wakes up and realizes you're trying to carry her. And um, sees this and verbally instructs you, carry me here, not there. And, <laughs> and after about, after about ten seconds, of her gently like helping you, you're able to pick her up. Really, <laughs> so sweet. Except for when she tried to like knock me out. Except for when you try when you hit better to her in the face. Living embodiment of playful. That is both a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> I definitely see the bad thing. <laughs> Alright, so Qualia and Kriv, you may mark off long rest. I don't think they yeah. need to I'll mark off a long rest for Hoff anyway. How much has Huff made so far? Oh yeah, I should probably see if they made anything for the evening. Actually, no, they spent the evening shopping, so they wouldn't have made anything. They were just having fun. Oh, okay, okay. You did say that they would uh, gain some tips from my customers who wanted to tip them while doing the fire dancing. He said that yep, they were doing uh, fire dancing, let me so... Roll a, a performance check to see how they do on that. Yeah. Oh, it was almost a natural 20. <laughs> hey, 17 still good. It, it, it hovered over and then tipped over into the 14. That's just cruel. <laughs> okay. Um, counter builder. I will... It was a 17, so that's pretty all right. Uh I'm gonna say they managed to earn one gold, three silver. One gold, three silver, add. There we go.
All right, it is morning. I'd like all three of you to roll initiative to see who I pick on first. Oh. Who you pick on? So, guys, you must be wondering how we ended up here. Oh, my God, guys. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's on both 10 and 12 at the same time. Okay. What did it pick? It picked so, 10. Okay, 14. Hi. It is morning. You wake up in bed next to Beery. Again. Again. What are you going to do? Oh, no. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm just like, relax. Okay. You spend an hour relaxing, chatting with Beery, who woke up shortly after you. And then after that, you watch as Beery get dressed and responds with, as much as I'd like to continue playing with you, I probably should start attending to my duties I've been neglecting. I hope you have a lovely day. Okay. And you watch as for once you've, because you've only met them while they were in their house, save for the, save for the ball where they were wearing a very elegant gown. You watch as they actually put on full clothing, like work, work clothing. How they looking, Chris? <laughs> the view is amazing. <laughs> 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 I think we're kind of broken, Chris, by now. I ship it so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're in the Yuri's uh, wing, all by yourself. Hello. 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 Oh, oh no, it's not on. <laughs> oh. Wait, isn't Cora still there as well? No, no Cora went, went back to the end. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do you hmm. need a moment to the side, Chris? Yeah, I really can't know. I don't really know what to do. Okay. So we'll give you a moment to decide. Remember, you can pick on the other players if you want advice. Um, so Squeak, it's your turn. You wake up. I'm gonna leave my turn to Cora for now because I need to. I, I just finished brushing my cat. I need to throw this away. Hi, huh? I'm heading to a potion shop. Okay, you're going to the potion. You roll investigation oh. to see how long it takes you to find it. Since I do not believe you've been to the and stuff. Investigation. Block 12. Investigation. It takes you about an hour, so you get there about noon. Okay. Uh, they're open, correct? Yep. Howdy, hey. Uh, you wouldn't possibly Hello. have some uh, healing potions, would you? Possibly greater? Yep. Second aisle. Second aisle? All right. and you, yep. We just got a fresh shipment, too. That's why the aisle is so well stocked. And for the uh, the the others who had previously been there, the aisle had been relatively empty. This aisle is full. So how much... Wait, um... What, are, what kind of uh, healing potions do they have, really? Um... They currently stock la di di la di do la di da. Um, they currently have stocked common, uncommon, and the shop lets you know that they do have a single rare behind the counter. Back. Uh, I would like to do the, uh, two uncommon and one great, if possible. Okay. Roll, you need to roll two separate perceptions. One for the, or persuasions. One for the uncommon and one for the rare. Okay. That was for okay. the 13 for uncommon. Oh... Okay. Yeah, so I really hate the it shopkeep... when, I really hate it when 
the dice get stuck on the like <laughs> side, and you're just there like just finish going down, and I would have had that. <laughs> So the shopkeep lets you know that they are currently selling Happy Night Miner Cell on their uncommon healing potions, and we'll hand them over to you for um, 175 gold pieces per potion. Uh... And... Um... You inquire about the rare one, and you are informed that because it is hard to get potions of this quality out here, we are currently selling this rare potion for 5,000. I, I just totally go, ah, ah, ah. The shopkeep just gives you that look of, I know that pain. I, I, in Kara's mind, they're just there like, I wish I was back in the capital where I was able to get, like, uncommon and greater for, like, 20 gold. <laughs> we got him very cheap, or at least I got him very cheap there. It was nice. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I just go, uh, well, thank you. Um, hopefully another day. <laughs> And then I just head out. You're not gonna buy anything in here. I take it. No, I was hoping to be able to get um two uncommon, so I can be able to get one for me and give one to Chris. You have to remember the ones that you bought. I believe they were commons. I thought we had uncommon. Nope. We've only. But common so far. Really? Yep. Because last time I tried to buy an uncommon, when I heard the price, I was like, nope, just give me common, please. Well, what about the okay, You have fine. found uncommons before, but you haven't bought one yet. Okay, then, uh, actually, can I check in with uh, the uncommon, or the regular commons then, actually? Um, give me just a second. Someone's knocking at my door real quick. Okay. <clears throat> oh shit. Computer wants to die. No, bad. Research portion or training portion. Okay, so we're inquiring about common potion. Yep. Oh, welcome back. For persuasion. Ah, that's alright. That's alright. That's alright. Um, they are willing to sell you common potions at fifty gold pieces per. Yeah, my um original response I said uh, and the reaction stands. And I'm just like, yeah. I'll call you another time. <laughs> for the record, Qualia would know that's a per that's a decent <clears throat> price for common potions. Oh, I know, but also I'm just here like, I want to be able to buy it for twenty gold again. <laughs> <laughs> you need a nat twenty for that. Uh...
and or you might have been taking advantage of a less knowledgeable DM Billy. Because I now have my proper resources. Gotcha. I don't know. Uh, it was back when we were in the uh, main city and like we were all like going shopping and the everyone else had really bad luck when like trying to buy potions and I just went in there, bought a shitload uh like was really polite bought a shitload and then was like all right goodbye i don't know these people how many how much do you have no back then i had no i mean right now i'm, I'm looking at your inventory oh, 700. Right now? You, 700 you can afford a lot you know i know but i especially since you have to remember you have the equivalent of 31 gold pieces and silver as well so you're actually above 800 So you can easily afford four, four, and it wouldn't hurt you that bad. I would be down to eight hundred. Or sorry, I would be down to five hundred. Four hundred at that point. Four hundred. Or sorry, it's if you want to buy four, that's two hundred. So that would put you like to six hundred. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, that's still a pretty good <laughs> chunk. I'll buy four. No, three. Okay. So uh, deck to 150 and add three common potions to your common healing potions to your inventory. Hold on, I need a do big brain. Actually, uh -oh. no, like I can. Okay. 31 to gold and then silver. I'm going to do 30. Three one zero to uh, remove. Okay, now all that is now in gold. Uh, so now I can just choose to deduct two fifty. Was it? Uh, it's if you're only gonna buy three, it's one fifty. Okay. Um. Yeah. One fifty. Okay. Ow. Uh, I'm gonna add those. Potion. Common. Okay, there we go. I did it. I added the three. Okay. Do you need more time, Abyssal? Chris. Okay. Sorry, I was going to sing. Um, I, I just thought of it like this instant. I was thinking of like maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of like maybe Criff can do like some house cleaning, maybe some to pass the time. Oh, <laughs> oh that's sweet. Mm -hmm. Freaking somebody's gonna have to get you all to start moving again. <laughs> you gotta keep that needs keeping. I uh, literally we're waiting okay. for the marriage, so that way we can move on and. They haven't even proposed. <laughs> I think it would be more act be be in everyone's best interest if maybe Crib tried to ask Beery to come with them. No, because she might die immediately, and I don't want her to die. I mean, y'all could start training her. She has important like life here, though. Well, Beery is a character. You can let her decide. All right. How do you spell eight? Eight. E I H H T. Yeah. Thank you. Mm 
E I G H T. <laughs> okay. So um, you're going to be doing housework. I'd like yeah. you to make a performance check, please. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> 50. Uh, you get about 10 minutes into the sweeping when one of the housemaids comes by and is just like, What are you doing? Please. I just need something to do. <laughs> Don't mind me. Sir, that's our job. Don't worry about the house. We've got this. Mm -hmm. Free money. Yeah, though. Well, so I okay. am uh, like going over to the dragonborn house. And then, <laughs> and then the female gnome gently <coughs> tries to take the broom from you. I give it to her. She takes, she takes it, goes goes to where you had started sweeping, and starts over. Starts over. <laughs> Do I happen to push the I think the real uh problem here is that Kriv did not ask her where the fuck she works at. <laughs> okay, so while Abyssal comes up with something new to come up with, since I think they, they need time to do that. Phantom, what is Squeak up to? Squeak is currently having some bonding time with the wolf. And I'm Cause... Exactly. Yo, are you kidding? That's a five. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. Wait, do I have a- No, I don't. You Shit. You guys have been hating us today. Roll yeah, I was like- Uh, how much? Wait, what? Roll a d4. Four. You may add four percent to your bonding percentage with the wolf. May I ask, what percentage are we at? Because we never did the percentage before. Uh, just go ahead and say with the four, you're currently at 12. That is so low. I thought that this yeah, would have it's been getting down. He even defended me and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I thought this this would be at uh, number 20 in my, to me. Like, sure, I, we'll put it at 20. I thought, yeah, I was thinking like one fifth of the way there, not. Okay. I need to yeah, look we'll where I'm going to put this. I'll put the, I'll put it here. What did you say? Oh, uh, well. Here we go. I was like, where should I add this? And then I, then I remembered that I have the, the wisdom upgrade I'm doing, so I'm just going to put it right underneath that. Uh, how long do you say that would take me? That bonding time? Um, you put, I'd say, how day into it. Half a day. Okay. Good. Okay, 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 okay. You don't have to do a wonderful swing, but I'd say you have to put eight hours within the day in order to get that percentage. Yeah. Um. But you can go shopping if you want to in the morning. No. I want to check on Griff after I finish bonding. That's where I'm okay. going, actually. So the dragonborn household it is for Squeak. Okay. So, Qualia, what you up to? Like, the, like immediately after that, I'm going to the dragonborn house. Immediately after shopping? Okay. You yeah. get there, and you see Kriv in the hallway looking a little dejected. Um, I grab out one of the potions of healing, and I hand it over to Kriv and just say, you want to hang out for a little bit? Sorry about yesterday, by the way. You look kind of like lost puppy right now. I'm sorry. Want to hang out? Okay. <laughs> also, feel free to add that uh, potion of healing to your inventory. I'm giving you one. And delete. Uh, so, what are you two going to do? 
And where are you gonna go? Corbius land, right there. <laughs> she got this. What did you say? He was playing. Uh, uh. Honestly, we have we we have a DPS slash tank slash yeah, the the DPS tank uh next to the just pure DPS. I think that we're mostly just what? there for battle. We're both here just. I, our hobbies, aside from uh, talking with people, is battling. So, I <laughs> I don't know. Who Think they have any dueling like places? <gasps> yes, let's go find like a dueling. You want to find a dojo? Yeah, like a little place. To spar. Yeah, like like not like full on fight, but just sparring. Uh. Um, and if they don't have one, then we could just go to, like, the guards area and ask them if they have, like, a training room that we could, like, spar in. Because, like, we did work for them and help them out. I feel like they would be willing. Uh. Billy, are you okay? I'm having to do a little bit of research real quick. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Dang, we're really making Billy do research today. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> you, should, <laughs> you should appreciate the fact that Alpha is in here today, because he will probably be having you do research as well. Okay. So, are you guys going there just to spar and have fun, or are you going there for actual training? I think sparring to have fun. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Wait, before we go, before I go, I'm gonna leave a note for Beery telling like where I went. You know, just okay. so. Okay. Um. <gasps> Crib. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I need to, I need to DM this. Okay. <laughs> I am suspicious. I don't know how to spell this, so I'm gonna spell it like. Just try your best. Out. Just try your best. I'll figure it out. You'll instantly know what I mean, but like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought that was humorous. Is that okay? So you guys ready to continue? Please. Just be like, can we go home? <laughs> Chris is leaving a note for Beery, I believe, mm -hmm. before we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so you guys end up going to the uh, guard training area where you see about a dozen guards um, sparring and um, basically boxing. <laughs> Are they boxing with each other? Or are they yep. like sparring against like uh, uh punching, like punching bag slash uh is it like little Most are games? sparring against each other. There are a couple who are working over what looks like improvised um boxing bags because remember this is medieval. There aren't proper boxing bags. Yeah. Um uh... it looks like Someone took a giant tree log and put some stuffing around the edges. 
And this is like a non-military kind of like sparring area, correct? Like it's, it's okay. a little, it's a little military. You can see that there are a couple of civilians, but it's mostly guards. Okay, I just mean like it's okay for us to just like casually go in there, yep. find like a a uh, arena for sparring event, just yep. spar with each other. All right, cool. Yeah, there there is a elevated box boxing ring and you do notice that there is one guard who is wearing silver and look they're just kind of circling the room talking to talking to people occasionally huh uh as as i walk past them can i do the nod tm tm trademarked what is that so <laughs> in real life that a lot of guys do for some reason. Basically, they like tilt their head up like real quick to like to like basically it's a real quick way to greet uh, someone you know, and then they tilt their head down to like be like, "How you doing?" Went to people that they don't know. <laughs> it's the yeah, nod. It's, TM. it's the nod. down for someone you don't know, and it's up for some for um someone you don't like. No, it's up for people that you know that you like. Mm -hmm. You're a friend. Uh. In my city, you don't up nod to anybody unless you want to fight. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it, like, it's kind down, of like it, a hood kind of area. Rather it's, than... it's down nod for anybody, and the degree of the down nod is the lower tech. Anyways, uh, anyway, I'm, um, doing, I'm doing the nod TM where I'm just going down because. Uh, okay. I don't um, know. And the. Orc, who's in silver, is just responds, are you here to train or are you here to fight? Uh, we're here to spar with each other. Okay. If it's just with each other, go ahead and use the boxing ring. Remember, no weapons. And Monk, I can I... see when you use your key, so don't. <laughs> I was about to say, these are all the weapons I need. <laughs> And you, you notice that they're wearing some unique looking glasses. I, I just do the nod again, just like, I respect. As you start to enter the ring, the, um, the orc dojo master shouts, Everybody, listen up. About to see a couple mercenaries fight it out. Make sure you're watching and keep take notes. <laughs> oh no. All, all, <laughs> All of the guards and civilians around stop um, training with each other, and they kind of just form around a circle. You're I didn't sign up for this. That some of them are trading gold with each other. Looks like that's oh. been formed. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Just remember, this is just for fun. Yep. Yeah. So, I the next part the about trainings in this setting, all attacks are considered non-lethal, and you may only do unarmed attacks. Yeah. All right. So you don't have to say it. And your HPs will automatically go back to full after the fight, so oh, don't worry about yeah. holding it back. Thank you. This is so great. Yep. All right. Roll initiative. Also, I like how Alex is just gonna show up at the party. <laughs> I was gonna show up and be like, fucking hell, this too. No, he's gonna show up at the Dragonborn's house, because that's where he said that he was gonna go after he's finished, and we're not yeah. gonna be there. Just, just gonna be there, like. He's yeah, just... the fight will be over by the time he gets out of the inn. Because oh. he's gonna <laughs> bonded with his. Yeah. Because I'd say it's going to be, like, late afternoon when they're done, and you guys went in early in the morning. I thought that he was going to do that one uh, gif of the guy, like, looking around, like, huh? What? With, like, the code yeah. on his phone? Yeah. Okay. So, Qualia, you go first. All right. I get to use... So, I can do, do a... keep in mind, the, the, the dojo person said you're not supposed to use key, yeah. but you can try if you want no. to, but... You don't know what it's gonna do. I, I, I uh, would like to declare I can, like, I'm just making sure, uh, I can do, uh, an unarmed strike and with a bonus action do another unarmed strike, uh, without using key. Just being clear. Like, that is a non key move. Yes. Yeah. Just, but, just want to make sure. Yes, you know. the key bit would be using Fury of Blows to get yeah. two attacks instead of one. No, it would. <laughs> two. Because using your. Fury yeah, of blows on your action would give your action a second attack, 
Yeah. And then you'd be able to use your bonus action after that. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Go ahead and roll the hit. How does 16 do? It ties. We that hits. Fit. Yep. Eight. All right, reduct eight points, Griff. And um. bonus action. 17. Hit. Damage. Okay, six, six points. All right. Kriv. Hi. Don't forget, you can rage. Oh, yeah, really? That's not okay. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be All right, all right. Okay, um, to do, 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 do. Why don't you first? Natural 20. Yes. Yeah, you, you crit definitely damage. Do, do, do crit. Crit damage. Yeah, that's, look, the thing is, so with this arm strike, it's always a three. So that would be. Roll, a, roll a d6, please. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, um. Seven? Double that because it's a crit. So eight plus three. 11 damage. Okay. And are you going to rage with your bonus action? Uh, isn't there attacks, two attacks per action? Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because you've got double strike, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, go for it. Yeah. Does that hit quality? No. This okay, well, time for rage. It's time for rage. Okay, you do get resistance to uh, to the rest of it, so that means all of Qualia's damage gets halved for the rest of the match. Yes. So basically what you're saying is, I am now fucked. I don't know. Eleven. Yes. Nat 20! Which is now five. Five mm. points of damage. That hurts. Yes, it does. <laughs> so, just out of curiosity, read off your guys' HP. Twenty-two. Ten. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got that early Keep damage it. in. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, cool. Oh. I honestly thought that I was about to like get a beat down. Like, All right, crap, your turn. That was gonna be even. Good, good. Crib. Wait a minute. I'm reading on my friend. I'm reading my frenzy attack. <laughs> okay. 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 Got this. Sixteen? Yep. Three. It's always three. Plus a D6. Six. Four. Four points of damage. Oh. <laughs> Eight. Definitely. <laughs> Plus a D6. Nine. Nine points of damage. <laughs> um, to t- do frenzy attack. Uh, what does frenzy do again? Great. Now I have to read it. <laughs> oh no. Good. You guys have more tabs open than any previous session already. For me. Woo! Beat the record again. Nice job, guys. Uh. While raging, you can choose to frenzy. You can make a single meal as a bonus action on each of your turns. Okay. Ooh. Remember that constitution <laughs> check after this fight. Mm-hmm. All right. Go ahead and roll your another attack. Did it hit? Did you? Roll oh yeah. It? So less. So twenty-three to hit. Okay, so you did six damage? Mm-hmm. Okay. What's you at, Qualia? Three. 
I was literally about to say, so the stakes are, I take, I either take you down this turn or I lose. And you're at 10. And I take half damage. Oh. Oh. Right. <laughs> Barely up, you're focusing on your fight, you're about to start attacking Qualia when you hear from the side the person in silver say, Key authorized! That's a natural one. Roll a d20, please. <laughs> 16. It does nothing. Okay. Keep going. Thank fuck. Sobbing. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Natural one. Okay. <gasps> All right, that's it yep. for Qualia's that turn. Was, that was that was all of my chances. Uh, <laughs> I lose. Please, so look. Crib can miss. Yeah, I can miss. No, you can't. I have a thirteen. Armor what do you mean? Plus. Okay. Uh, that first one missed. Yep. Oh. And there you go. Now damage I'm down. time. Three plus a d six. Yeah, this is over. Yeah, now seven. I'm Seven. So now I'm at negative four. <laughs> no. <laughs> Literally, all you had to do was hit once, and I would be down. What? Well, how much health were you at? I was left at four. Yeah, that was a pretty close fight. Mhm. Mm right. I feel like if she had key available at the start of the fight, it probably would have ended differently. Yeah. I mean, yep. the other thing is, if I didn't miss so many at the end, like, if I would have had at least hit one, I would have gotten you, because, I don't know, after, I after a moment, you watch as the crib, you watch the person in silver enters the ring, and there, you haven't noticed until just now, but there's a, a silver bell above you, and they pull out this pole, it's also silver, and it magically extends, and they smack the bell. And you watch as this green mist kind of flows down onto the ring. And both of you are healed to full HP. Woo! However, Kriv, please make a constitution saving throw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, guys. <laughs> Can we Kriv, you have a point of exhaustion. Can we say that I, like, put my arms out and just accepted that last blow, by the way? <laughs> like, it's like, please. You want to? Yes, I want it to be canonically. I just put my arms out, close my eyes, and I'm like, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. You go flying like the, like the punching bag in Captain America. Oh, that was a nice one, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping for that like bro moment of like doing like the arm thing to like pick your friend up. <laughs> Clap. The the silver orc pick um, helps you get up, Koalia. And it's responsible. Good fight. Honestly, I thought that the dragonborn would need the the handicap in order to fight. Turns out, barely. <laughs> really yeah, dude. We're pretty equal. Like, that was a close fight there, and I, uh, I'm glad to have Crib on my side. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, wait, I was just with unarmed strikes. Imagine if I used, if I kind of used my, my great axe. <laughs> yeah, you would have won easily. <laughs> but also, I would have had my key. From the start. Yeah. Anyways, okay. that was nice. Yep. <laughs> so, Squeak, you finish up dealing with your 
Wolf, you get to the Beery household and you find the note left by Kriv stating that they were going to go training. Um, do I see any of the maid slash butlers nearby? Yes, there are a few of them. I want to go to the nearest one and ask them where this training area is at. Oh, uh, they give you directions. Perfect. Now I don't have to do investigation or perception. Uh, I will go to the place. <laughs> okay. Okay. You get there, you get there right as the fight is ending between Kriv and Qualia, so you can see them chatting on up on the ring with the with this orc and silver. Please tell there, me. There, there, this is the ending of the fight, or did it yes, end? It's already over. Oh, it's already over, okay. Ah. Uh, oh, wait, how did the bets go? Can I roll perception to see how beat up they both are? Go ahead. I see none. Actually, wait, how much do I see? They look I see... healthy to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, the green mist is all back to full. Uh, yeah. Literally, yeah. There's me with my exhaustion. Yeah, I was like, so if you would have gotten that 20, you would have seen, oh, yeah, they're both fully healed, although Kriv is tired. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll walk over to them and ask immediately. So, who won? Oh, hey, Squeak, do you want to go around or two with us? I immediately flip off Cora. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't take it to heart. Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're pretty even all the way, like, yeah. throughout. Uh, I just happened to miss. The last couple of shots, and I let the last one happen. I, I fucking knew that he, that he was gonna hit me anyway, and <laughs> he did good. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Scrape turns to Criff. When's the wedding? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, Billy. Yeah. Did, 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 uh, did Weary possibly come in during that? Uh, no. Sad. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that it would be uh, funny if Weary came in there and just saw <laughs> Sonny Crib, uh, put, like, doing a couple of, like, grounds. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. <laughs> um, after after asking the wedding, uh, immediately Squeak asks, uh, Kriv again. Uh, so so where's your girl? I don't see her around. Uh, I thought you two were together. Like, uh, is there even glue in the medieval times? Yes. Okay. Okay. Then I'll use regular glue. But you will stick together with glue or some shit. She had to work. She was neglecting your duties long enough. Uh, by the way, Squeak, do not mention, uh, do not ask the when's the wedding to Beery. Just, just don't, just don't ask that kind, just, just, it's for the best. Uh, what do you do? Well, I asked that, it's not going to find Crib, ask that question, and then Beery was like, it's sooner than you think. And you think, and then started trying to make me pass out by like crushing my bones, and I ended up headbutting her, and she went down. But like, just, just, it seems that she wanted to like do a fight that she wasn't ready for. Just, just don't, don't ask that question. I feel like it'll only lead to her trying to strangle you. Kriff, what's that a hug? Yeah. Of course, it's fucking a dumbass. Hug. <laughs> a hug meant to fucking knock me out. I You're fucking that. strong. <laughs> I might be. Yeah, one hug is not gonna do shit to you. 
<laughs> no, I was I was not doing good against it. I'm I'm not gonna okay. lie. Like that was She might not be able to take a couple of hits, but she is pretty strong. Uh, no it hogs are your weakness. Uh I'll I'll no, I'll keep that in mind for next dragon, time. No, Dragonborn. <laughs> God. There's a difference. <laughs> I want to scout out the place real quick, uh, Billy. Scout out the dojo? Yes, I want to see what other things there are apart from this whatever as spot area they were training on. It's a pretty small area. There's looks like a couple restrooms, but that's about it. There are no dummies for sword training. Looks like they just go to the forest and use trees for that. That'd be a bit expensive. Oh, damn. Okay, okay, okay. Really? I have a question. Be a little bit cheap here. So, you said that people were betting, right? How many people won? Roll oh, perception shit. with disadvantage. Wait, can I roll perception? <laughs> You can also roll it with disadvantage. Cool. So, guys. <laughs> Fortune <laughs> blow. Uh, Qualia, you realize about 30% of the um, people around you won their bet. My element of chaos. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just lean over to Crib and I'm just like, yo... You just made, like, very few people make a lot of money. <laughs> nice. Wow. So people weren't believing in me? <laughs> yeah, but uh, at least uh, there are people who believed in you. I actually got paid. <laughs> you have true people looking out for you. People believe in you. You're great. <laughs> so inspiring. Kiss a dragonborn. <laughs> like, literally two-thirds were betting on me. One-third was betting on Kriv. Like, it's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> you guys do anything else at the dojo? No, I think, at least I don't think uh, so. Kriv, do you have anything you want to do? <laughs> Uh, Quora. What's up? Don't you feel your strength or whatever the fuck you want to call it with alcohol? I would like to get drunk. No, that's not my question. I'm just asking, why don't you never carry alcohol around with you? Well, that's expensive. So I'm going to go buy you a lot of alcohol. I'll be back. No. Oh. But in the meantime, I'm gonna drink. Just, just... Can I drink the last of the dwarven whiskey that really fucking strong shit? <laughs> you want to get into drink again? <laughs> I want to do the strongest fucking shit. I'm just gonna be like, guys, watch this. Billy, I have a quick question. Would I be able mm -hmm. to make alcohol myself? <gasps> if you have the ingredients, you can try. I'll keep that in mind. I, I, I actually did just have a giant smile just come over my face. So, um, should I roll con, by the way? Yup. Uh, regular or saving throw? Uh, saving throw. Saving Wait, do you have the whiskey with you? Yeah, I've been keeping that one on me. It's the really fucking strong oh. shit. Like, it's really fucking Sh fun! Shouldn't you fucking wait until we're in mid fight? Okay. No, well, no, because this is there she goes. No, this is the really strong stuff. I am not gonna be like absolutely plastered during the fight. I need. I thought that was the whole point of whatever you follow. Honestly, I need to do more research on how the drunken master works. I haven't been using that very much. Uh, it's all good. Anyways, yes, I got a four for um, con. 
Yeah, you are drunk. Yeah. <laughs> you have disadvantage on all checks. You guys just see me just drink the last of this dwarven alcohol and just go, That was a train. What is a train? Did I make up a new thing? That was a train. And I put that bottle back in my bag. Make a constitution check real quick, Koalia. Check or saving throw? Check. Oh my god. It's 16. Okay, you're still awake. Of course. You're butt drunk, right? Like, I'm. Yeah, drunk. you're borderline blackout already. Yeah, that's, that's dwarven alcohol for you. Yep. I gotta oh tell god. you, sweet, sweet. The dwarves have the best, the best alcohol. Alcohol. Uh, alcohol. Can I see that real quick? Uh, yeah. Just, just there might be a little bit at the bottom. Just, just I want to keep the bottle, and I hand it over to. Be sure to give me back the bottle, please. How about I give you this whenever you actually can handle it? There's none left. Yeah, she drank the last of it. Oh. Like, I thought you were trying to analyze it. I was just like, here, do you, no. like, do you want to look at what is left? Like, Though, would I be able to analyze if there's, like, even a drop left? That's what I'm saying. Don't you want to analyze or it? Or by smelling it. Really? What's up? Would I be able to, like, Tell what at least some of the ingredients are by smelling it? Uh, doubtful, but you can try. What would I need to roll for it? Uh, da -da -da. make a medicine check. Okay, uh, here we go. Nope, forget about it. <laughs> nope. Alright, I'm like, I'm, I, I'm putting, I need that bottle and put it away. I'm definitely gonna have that filled up with regular shit and just drink out of that, cause I had that, 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 I like that bottle. That bottle's nice. Oh my god. Chris, Chris, what, do you wanna do anything, like, Chris? Mm. You know what, Chris? You know, you know, you know, um, Chris. Uh huh. I need to say something. Mm hmm. I appreciate you, Yarjurit. Yarjurit. Yar. Yarjurit. Yar Yarjurit. I, I appreciate you, Yarjurit. I'm trying I'm to sorry. pronounce your first name. Um. <laughs> I'm just absolutely shocked right now. Am I not supposed to call you by your first name? Is that bad? Have I told you? Well, I remember it, don't I? Huh. Okay, then. So... <laughs> Is that bad? Did I do it bad? Um... I, I, just... I, just I, stick I, to calling me Kriv. Yeah, okay. Sorry. So do you have anything you want to do, Kriv? Not particularly. Squeak? I can't read that. Wait, what do you want me to read again? No, I, I said, Squeak, do you, have a, do you have anything that you want to do? And then as soon as you start writing, I just go, I can't read that. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh... What haven't we visited so far? 
Wait, Billy, I have... We have, um... An Auroch, I think it said, Pelt. And we have, um... Apart from that, we have... I think, like, two or three Wolf for Two. Yep. Wolfer and I one know. Dark Wolfer. Um, yep. what can we do with that? Sell it. We can turn it into armor or something useful? Uh, none of you have the sufficient skills for it. And you would need a, you would need access to a full workshop for a notable amount of time. Yeah, we have Could we by any chance make a canteen out of the orc pelt? You can try. You can probably make two out of all out of each pelt. But honestly, that would probably be a waste. Uh, no, because we can make you out of the canteen and use half alcohol at the ready. Well, no, I'm gonna use the uh, dwarven bottle as the uh, canteen for our alcohol. What is a dwarven bottle made out of? I don't fucking know, but I I I thought it would be nice to drink out of a dwarven bottle because dwarven bottle. Okay, imagine dwarven imagine bottle. it's crystal, yeah, and you drop it. And... Hey, dwarven bottle is pretty similar to regular ones, where. But it, the etching and the design are much fancier. That's pretty much it. Exactly. It looks okay, crazy. so imagine you drop it. I'm not going to drop it. Or someone it. hits it and it breaks. What will you do? It's not. It's steel. It's pretty durable. Oh, steel. Okay, okay. This is my drinking flask now. How much would the... Okay, let's... How much, uh, does, uh, it, yeah, how much does it... Can I add in dwarven flask? What would you sell that? Um, no, I mean, like, should I add in Dwarven Flash to my inventory, by the way? Sure, but remove the Dwarven alcohol since it's empty. Yeah. Um, I guess we'd go to a blacksmith to sell the pelt? Yep. Or is there something more specific? Oh no! Okay, then yeah. Let's. I'm. I'm gonna ask for directions to the blacksmith because I think that's the only place I haven't really gone to yet. Okay, flask. Uh, add that to my uh, an iron flask is a wondrous item, and it's legendary. Well, the iron, the iron flask has is bottomless. Oh, I want that now. So you can you have unlimited alcohol with that thing. I actually had one like in a different campaign. Nope. That is my goal to get one. But fair warning, use of the iron flask alcohol, it, it has to be drunk immediately. You can't put it in other containers, and it has an increased risk of addiction versus regular alcohol. So, are you guys doing anything else at the dojo? No, I'm just going to ask for directions to the blacksmith, because that's the only story I haven't really gone to yet. Okay. I'm going to see if I can sell the pelt and shit. How much does it um, cost, by the way? The pelts? No, the uh, dwarven flask. Like, I'm not going to sell You'd it. You'd have to get it appraised. Oh, okay. So you go to the um, blacksmith. Um, you have to roll stealth again. <laughs> you 
No. <laughs> There's someone actively manning the front. Nice. Okay. So you're going to do just shopping or are you going to try to um, just sell it? I'm going to see how much the orc pelt and the two wolf pelt and one dire wolf pelt go for. Um, so I'll put them on the counter. Give me a second. I'm researching. Um, furs are pretty cheap. They're easy. They're easy to get, and they're not useful for a lot of stuff. So the blacksmith is gonna offer you three gold pieces per, uh, per skin. Hello. Can I? Okay. Okay. Can I push? Sway him to do five for the dire wolf pelt. Uh, high DC, but you can try. Okay, I'll try then. So, what a twenty-four do? <laughs> Four gold, five silver. Ah, uh, deal. Okay. So it's. Oh, okay. 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 And okay. Done. Added everything. Now let me remove everything. Now, the question is, is Griffley anything from here? Oh, Crave went with you? I don't know, did they? I said that we were going to the I was going to the blacksmith. The blacksmith? Crave and uh Qualia? I feel like I dragged Cora with me because Cora <laughs> is drunk. Okay. Crave Thistle? Um Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. So you you're gonna buy anything at the blacksmith? Um. Upgrade by. Can I upgrade my great axe? Uh, uh. <laughs> but it's like, oof. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, oh, they, uh, can I upgrade my fists? Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, you can buy globes or something that have, like, spikes or some shit. I guess. Called, one of those things called. I don't know what they're called. It wouldn't be a simple weapon. Oh, like a knuckle dusters. Ah. You can just buy globes and add spikes to it, literally. It's simple. No, I don't want to have gloves. If I would have anything, I would want it to be like spiky rings. Because I like having my uh, hand in like the classic uh, martial arts like pose. They're gonna buy rings then. Yeah, I would have need to do that. Dex Spyro will be like. Um, yeah, you can upgrade weapons. Or you're at weapon, but. Um, it is pretty costly, and you need to decide how you want to upgrade it. So, do you want to upgrade the um, accuracy, and therefore have it easier to hit? Do you want to upgrade the damage so you do more, or do you mm -hmm. want to reduce the weight? Damage. I'm upgrading that damage. More damage. Let's go. Okay, so great axes currently do 1d12, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, how much does a great axe cost? Uh, 
research, research, and more research. <laughs> Great axes are supposed to cost 30 gold pieces. Um, I'll say adding another D12 is going to cost you... The base cost, I'll say, is just a straight up 100 gold pieces. And Not much really a good price. without upgrading the accuracy at the same time, if you upgrade the d damage more than once, it's going to impede accuracy and it will start going down. So I can upgrade accuracy and damage at the same time? Yes, but every time you upgrade a weapon, it's going to get more expensive. So the cost is going to start getting more infinite. All right. So how much for both damage and accuracy? If you want to do just a plain upgrade for both, so you get plus one to accuracy and plus one to damage, I'll say 220. All right. I wish my upgrades were this low. <laughs> Make sure you put in the notes that you've upgraded both ones. All right. And that's the thing. I'm going to ask you guys to keep track of your upgrades, and I'm going to expect you to be honest about it, because that's D&D. &D. Yeah. Uh... So, so wait, Cora, how huh? much extra damage? So you do 2d12 instead of 1d12. Alright. That is really good. Uh, Cora? Yeah. So you want rings instead of, like, knuckles or whatever? Yeah. I mean, remember, you don't have to use just your fists. You can use um, uh, monk weapons and still you get your key. What are monk weapons? Good question. Well, I mean, a lot of the monk weapons are based on decks rather than... Uh... Um, short sword, club, dagger, hand axe, javelin, light hammer, mace, quarter stop. Oh, they can use a lot. I was really not expecting for them to be able to use so many weapons. Yeah, that's that, that's it though. Short sword, club, dagger, hand axe, javelin, light hammer, mace, quarter staff, sickle, so and spear. Can have rings on top Damn. of their knuckles to add to the unarmed strike. Mm, you would need to find magical rings. Oh, okay. Hmm. And that's a deal breaker. Uh, I like to have my uh, thing more like, I like my stance to be like that. <laughs> like Master Roshi. Will the blacksmith also work with the, oh wait no, you said magical rings. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, because okay. we're dealing with monk stuff at this point. Well, you guys can upgrade your basic weapons, and the cost will be infinite. Qualia's downside is, while each thing that she finds that she can use will make her, will make her extremely powerful, finding stuff that is compatible with her key is the hard part. Isn't there a limit to how many rings you can have as well? Uh, depending on the size of the ring, you can have like 20, so if you can find all of them. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought there was like a limit. Hold on, okay, what okay. the fuck do you mean you can have 20? Like two on each finger. Why? Mm. Who would do that? Why not? How much would they cost? That's the question, because if they cost pretty good, it's okay. It's cost, it's about finding them. So we can go to like your local magic shop and see if they have rings? You can try, but odds are they don't have it, and if they do have it, it'd be expensive. Oh. What about a keep? Would a keep half my nickel rings? Maybe. Okay, I'll keep that in Depends mind. on the keep. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, well, like, the... the one that uh, that Hoth managed to acquire probably only has a couple of them. Well, the one that you acquired in the Elven Kingdoms, it's guaranteed to at least have, like, 
th two, if not more. Ooh, nice. Okay. Because you're because when you go to a kingdom that deals more in more magic, not only are you going to find more for sale, they're probably going to be cheaper, and you can have more chance of finding them out in the wild. Okay, Cora, we're going to stack you up when we go to the Elven Kingdom, okay? We're going to the Elven Do we have to go to the Elven Kingdom? You don't come... have to do anything. It's D&D. Right. Uh, you can settle down in this city if you all want. <laughs> is my... Uh... Is my town in the Elven Kingdom? Yes. Okay, just wanted to make sure. But, yeah. Do we have to go back there? Do we have to go there? I still don't know where my home is. Will you also hail from there? Huh? Most of you hail from the same kingdom. We haven't even talked about it. It's come up in passing a couple times, but I don't think the characters have talked about their homes yet. No, not at all. Well, I, I've only talked about, uh, about my kids and stuff. That's it. Yep. You guys got plenty of roleplay talk to do with each other. Um, uh, okay, so, Criff upgraded, Cora learned the hard truth, um, <laughs> that you can't get magical rings here. Well, it's also that not I to mention, even that. without finding material stuff to boost Qualia, monks are still pretty OP. Yeah. Um. You freaking use your key to stun creatures. Then they can't do jack for a full round. Is there a winery in the broken. city? You know, I probably should have used that to stun Beery. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know I yeah, could live, do you that. Learn. You, can, um, you can catch projectiles, you know. Yeah, that one I did know. Honestly, yep. at this point, and I... That's, a, that's I, officially ruled all projectiles. That means if someone shot a freaking cannonball at you, you could try to catch it. Honestly, I am now seeing my character as uh, an elf, a young female Master Roshi. Elven Master Roshi. Like, in everything except for, like, his ludity. Um, I'm gonna turn to Cora and Criff and ask if they'd like to accompany me to a winery. I would love to. Mm hmm the drunk one said, okay, I, I uh... Say, I say it very eloquent, eloquently like I just said. I would love to. I'm gonna turn to the blacksmith and ask him if there's any wineries nearby. <laughs> Billy? Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> it's I'm okay. Doing loads of research. <laughs> Did you at least hear what I said, though? Please repeat. repeat it. Uh, I turn to the blacksmith and ask if there's any wineries nearby. Not that I'm aware of. We're a pretty dry uh, city in terms of production. I mean, damn. Most of our workforce, do you really want them getting a hold of alcohol? True that, true that. So we'd have to go to an inn. Okay. But that means probably no bottle. Just like an actual... Okay, fuck. Um... I was hoping that there would be a winery and that's where Beery works in. <laughs> Yes, it would have been good, great interaction. Oh, I was gonna buy you something, some fucking alcohol at the winery, but at the same time, I was expecting Mary to work there. Um. Damn. Um. I guess we have nothing else to do unless you don't have anything in mind. Honestly, I just stop. My mouth is open. I turn to Kriv. Does... Does Beery have a library? Um... I haven't asked. I need That's a, a good question. I need to do some reading. 
Is it, who else would be home right now? Is anyone else home? Do you know if anyone else is home? There's only the, the gnome maid. No one else is in the household? There's the maid. You'd have to go there to find out. I'm pretty sure the maid's still there. I don't trust talking to the maid. <laughs> and by that, I mean the maid won't be able to help. Maybe they won't help As you guys start making your way over to the Dragonborn house, that is where we are going to end it for tonight's session. Completely fair. Yep. Alright. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my battle with Kriv. That was the highlight for me. Battling with Kriv. Fucking pretending to be Master Roshi. Like, that was great. Anyways. I hope you all have a great night, and I'll see you next, next time, fuckers.